Welcome, welcome, this Thanksgiving edition of yoga. And I'm so happy to have everyone here. Let me go ahead and mute all. And that way anyone who comes in after will also be automatically muted. There we go. Ah, well, the holiday season is upon us and <coughs> my cough is upon us. Um, some of some of these um, holidays are, are fraught for many different reasons, politics and family and all kinds of stuff. But we do the best that we can to stay as present as we can with all the joy that's possible. So before we dive in, I just wanted to report back. Um, as you know, I was away last week and I was doing a training. It was a six day intensive training in manual lymphatic drainage. Now I am a massage therapist, although I'm not doing that work so much anymore, but to keep my license going, I needed to take a course. And I thought this, first of all, it's gentle work. So I might be able to do some of it. And second of all, it informs what we're doing here in class. So I know more about the lymph system than I ever thought I would. And it's absolutely fascinating and essential to all of our health, but especially anyone who has any kind of immune compromisation. So <clears throat> pardon my cough. Um, maybe I need more lymph drainage. Uh, so I will be bringing the work in to our class. Um, and I'll be doing a series that focuses on the lymph system starting in January. So look forward to that. Um, I know it doesn't sound sexy, but it's, uh, it's awfully interesting, I think. Now, starting December 1st, it's November 23rd, starting on December 1st, the way that you access class is changing. Uh, cancer support community is pardon me, is going to house the class. And in order to log in, you will go to their calendar. You have to set up an account if you don't have one with Cancer Support Community. And you will click on the calendar and that will give you access to the class. It will be out of my hands. Um, I will be sending this information out in all of my communications. Um, if you are on Cancer Support Community's uh, mailing list, you'll get this information. Uh, so I hope that, um, I know we'll have some baubles at the beginning trying to get us all in place, but this way everything is very centralized for them and they can, you can go into your account and see all the classes that you're taking and have access to everything. Ruth? I don't have a question. Have a yes. You'll have to send that information to me about the cancer support people because I don't have oh, a clue. Yeah. I don't have a clue. I just know you. I know. So I, don't, so... I don't even know what their name is. So if you would send that, then I'll do what I, you're talking. I will send it as soon as it's relevant because I don't want. I mean, December first is the only week and a half away. I know, but next week you'll access class the normal way, um, and then after that you will go to Cancer Support Community. I'll, right. I'll send an email out right. um, just about this. And hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves set up ahead of time so that when class is starting, we'll be able to, to get in. And uh, just for your reference, and I will repeat this so you don't have to panic, the website is CSC for Cancer Support Community. So CSC atlanta.org. So if you go to their website and go to the calendar, you will uh, have access to all of this information. But again, don't worry, I'm gonna send it out, I promise. And, uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, announcements are over. We are in the season of Thanksgiving. Small t, Thanksgiving. Giving thanks is gratitude made manifest. So how do we give thanks, show gratitude for the things that nourish us? How do we show up? Food, that's a big one. Love, 
gathering, participating, volunteering maybe. So what are your gratitude practices? That's rhetorical for you to think about. And what gets in the way of your gratitude practice? Anger, fear, defensiveness? How can I be grateful when dot, dot, dot? Meditation teacher Philip Moffat says practicing mindfulness of gratitude. I love that expression, mindfulness of gratitude. So being aware of your gratitude consistently leads to a direct experience of being connected to life and the realization that there is a larger context in which your personal story is unfolding. Gratitude can soften a heart that has become too guarded and it builds the capacity for forgiveness, whatever, however that's relevant. The practice of gratitude is not in any way a denial of life's difficulties. Having access to the joy and wonderment of life is the antidote to feelings of scarcity and loss. It allows you to meet life's difficulties with an open heart. So let's take a moment to get grounded, finding a comfortable seat for a little bit of breath work. So sitting up nice and tall, maybe sitting on a cushion or on a chair. Um, I'm kneeling with my meditation bench beneath me. And if sitting is not comfortable, you can always lie down. And begin to notice your sensory environment. What is around you? What do you see? What are the colors, the patterns, the light? in your space. And then you may decide to close your eyes or take a soft gaze, beginning to turn attention a little more deeply inward, beginning to notice the sounds that you hear beyond the sound of my voice. Can you identify which sounds are close by and which are further away. Can you hear the sound of your own breath as you inhale and exhale? Where do you feel the breath? Is there one place? Maybe at the tip of your nose or the back of your throat, or maybe in your chest or belly. Take a moment to notice the sensation of breathing without changing anything. And keep your focus on that physical sensation through a couple of inhales and exhales. Just noticing. Perfect, Doug. That's, that looks great. And begin to deepen your breath, feeling the breath expand maybe all the way down into your belly, softening to receive the fullness of the breath. Releasing the exhale letting go of what is no longer needed to make space for what you do need to come in. Begin to bring your focus of breath right to the center of your heart, the center of your chest, the cave of the heart, as it's referred to in yoga philosophy. Breathing in and out as if the breath was coming directly into your heart and directly out of your heart. With each inhale, feel a sense of opening and expansion in the heart center. As you exhale, imagine releasing that heart energy out into the space around you. Some people like the image of a lotus blossom that opens 
at heart center as you inhale and gently closes as you exhale. Let's sit with this heart breath for about 10 repetitions, just breathing in and out right at the heart. a couple more. And after your next exhalation, release control of the breath, bringing your attention back to your natural breath. And then releasing that attention, coming back into your body, into the room. And we'll continue. I'm going to scooch back a little. Okay. So wherever you are, sitting up nice and tall, you can stay in a chair if that's comfortable. We'll continue with sun breath. So turn palms up and inhale, floating your arms up as far as they go comfortably, so don't force it. Exhale, turn palms down and slowly, softly release the arms down. We'll continue. Inhale, floating up on the inhale, and exhale, softly floating down. So here we are connecting movement and breath. Yoga means to yoke, and some of the things that we're yoking together are mindfulness of breath and mindfulness of body, so movement and breath. Next inhale, reaching up, we'll come into a side bend, so lower your right, your right hand, yeah, and come up and over with the left. Now you can do as I'm doing here, bending your elbow or reach long, staying for a breath or two. On the inhale, feel the opening in the side body. Exhale, maybe curl a little more, and then inhale, come up and over. If you're sitting in a chair, hold on to the leg of the chair or the seat to keep you comfortably on the seat, not over onto the floor. And take your time, we'll move side to side a few more times. Staying for at least one inhale, and then using the next inhale to come up and over. And this, or the next time that you come up through center, reach tall, and then bring your left hand to your right knee and your right hand behind you. Inhale here to sit up nice and tall, extending the spine, and then exhale, twist, gently looking over or towards your shoulder. Don't use your hands to crank you around. They're just there for support. Inhale to come up through center and exhale to the other side. Take an inhale here, creating that space. Exhale, twist a little further. And we'll take a few passes with the twist, staying for at least one extra inhale and exhale. beginning to warm up the spine for the rest of our movement sequences. And that's where the next time that you come through center, pause there, release your arms down. We'll work with another arm vinyasa. Vinyasa just means a connecting a uh, group of poses. Inhale, bring your arms out at shoulder height with your palms facing up. Exhale, and bend your elbows, coming into 
what we sometimes call goddess arms or cactus arms or even goalpost arms. So pick your uh, comfortable imagery and inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back, lifting through the heart space. Exhale and bring your elbows towards each other. Inhale and open. Exhale and close. Inhale and open and this time bring your left arm towards your right. Inhale back to center. Exhale right towards left. Inhale back to center. This time both come together. Inhale open. Let's go to the left and to the right and center last time to the right to the left and center draw them together and then release and shake your arms out i'm going to come down off of my cushion here let me let me arrange my camera just a little and i'm going to sit back with my hands behind me, walking my feet out to about the mat width on the ground. Now, if you're sitting up in a chair, you can still do this. Walk your feet out a little bit wider. Um, I can't see if, uh, if anyone's in a chair right now. So with fingertips behind you or holding on to the chair behind you, inhale and lift your heart. Opening softening and then release that big lift and let's move our legs from side to side crow crawl so we'll have your feet wide enough apart so that let me move back a little more so you can see my feet so that your knee can drop maybe behind your other heel so we're going through all the movements in the hips. Now you can stay with this side to side, or when you come to one side, release and come around, coming into a twist. And then move to the other side. And again, twist. Stay with this or add the lift. Opening through the heart. and opening through the heart. Take one or two more passes to each side with whatever version feels good to you. And then this time or the next, when you come through center, pause there. We're going to move to our tabletop position, hands and knees. And so I invite you to make sure that you have something underneath your knees for comfort. I use these bits of mat, but you can use a folded blanket, towel, or small pillow. And we make our way to hands and knees. If it's not comfortable for you to be on your hands, you can make fists or come down onto forearms or work on your back or seat it. So first, finding your tabletop, knees underneath your hips, hands or fists or elbows underneath your shoulders. Lengthen your spine. Look down in between your fingers so that the back of your neck is long as well as the front. Inhale, lengthen. Think tailbone and crown of the head, the top of the head reaching in opposite directions. Exhale in place. And then this time we'll move into our cat and cow sequence. As you inhale, lift your tail, soften your belly, shine your heart forward and reach through the crown. Keep your chin a little bit tucked so you're not extending too much through your neck. Exhale, tuck your tail, belly comes in and up, release the head. And continue, inhale, tail lifts, belly softens, heart shines. Exhale, 
tail tucks, belly up and in, open between the shoulder blades. Let the head and neck go. Take your time rolling through cat and cow. One or two more times. Then this or the next time that you come through neutral, pause there. And let's extend the left leg behind with toes curled under. Press back, finding a nice stretch through your foot, your ankle, maybe your calf. Inhale, you can stay right here or lift the leg just to hip height, pressing out through the heel. Stay or add the reach of the opposite arm. Keep a lot of support in the belly to make sure that your low back is safe. Now, lower your hand. Keep your leg extended, but lower it down. We're going to do our little pivot move. So bring your right foot a little bit behind you as you drop your left heel, creating some space to open up into a modified side plank. Now bend your elbow and bring your hand behind your head. Inhale, open, exhale, draw your elbow down as if you could touch your other elbow. Inhale and open. Exhale and close. One more time. Inhale and open. Oops, exhale and close. And then come back through tabletop. And bring your knees, your knees apart, your toes together. Press back into child's pose. You can come down onto your elbows or forearms. You can stack your fists. You can stack your hands. Or you can bring your forehead all the way down to the ground. Breathing into the back body, creating some space, softening and melting your heart down towards the mat. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale with a sigh. Next inhale, make your way back up to your tabletop position. So knees come back in underneath your hips. From here, we'll extend the right leg, toes down, press back, getting that good stretch through the foot and ankle, back of the leg. And then maybe you choose to inhale and raise the leg just to hip height, right? So don't open the hip. Keep it level so that your sacrum is level. Pressing out through the heel, you may choose to add the reach of the opposite arm. One big breath here, lower the hand, lower the toes. And now you'll see the move from the back as I pivot and drop my heel and open up. Stay here or bend your elbow. Exhale and draw your elbow towards the other one. Inhale and open. Two more times if you like. And the next time you're coming forward, hand down, knee down. And once more, we'll press back into child's pose. You can choose to have your knees wide or more closer, more together, closer together. Take a few breaths, melting the heart, opening up the back body. And on your next inhale, press up through tabletop and grab your blocks. We're going to go into our knee down lunge series. So hands on your blocks or whatever you're using for blocks. Step your left foot forward in between the blocks. So see here that I have my knee over my ankle, right? 
when I press my hips forward, my heel doesn't come up. So from here, we'll begin to rock a little bit forward and back. Beginning to open up the front of the right hip, the back of the left leg. And the next time that you're coming forward, stay here or bring one or both hands up to your knee, coming up tall. Stay or lift up into those goddess cactus goalpost arms. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, draw elbows towards each other. Inhale, squeeze and open and release hands down. Curl your back toes under and press back, coming into a lunge. Take a moment here to get nice and long. And then lower your knee and we'll switch sides. Bringing the right foot forward, begin to rock forward and back. Make sure again that your heel is staying on the ground and your knee is not coming past your toes. Opening up the front of the left hip, the back of the right leg. Gentle movement. And the next time that you're coming forward, stay here or make your way up into goddess arms. Inhale, open the heart, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, elbows come towards. Inhale, open. Exhale, hands to blocks. Curl your back toes under and come into your lunge. Now from here, we're going to step the back foot forward to meet the front and walk yourself all the way up to standing. Beautiful. I'm gonna move my bits out of the way, my yoga bits, <laughs> and find my way into mountain pose. So feet about hip distance apart, reaching down through your fingertips, reaching up through the crown of your head. Now take a moment here to find a feeling of balance on your feet. Maybe you would like to rock a little forward and back, lifting heels and then lifting toes. Settle yourself there and then maybe shift a little side to side. Come back to center. Try bringing hands to the top of your hips. Let's lift our toes. Spread them wide and slowly place them back down. Try it one more time. Lift the toes, spread them wide, yogi toes, and slowly place them back down. Feeling now as if you are balanced equally between your feet and front to back, side to side, all of the directions on your feet. Let's inhale here, arms come up, look up and see your hands come together wherever they do. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center. We'll do that two more times. Last time here, we'll stay, hands at heart center. Take a moment to glance ahead of you at your horizon line and find something to fix your eyes on, your focal point or drishti. Having this you know, focus helps you with balance. We're about to move into a balance sequence. So take a moment. If you need additional support, and sometimes we all do, turn hand on a wall. You can use a sturdy piece of furniture. <laughs> Just something that you can use for support. Once you're in place, find your mountain once again. Eyes on your drishti or focal point. Feel the mountain 
before you feel the tree. So feel that sense of deep groundedness, strength, stability. Then begin to sink into your left leg. It's an imperceptible or a slightly perceptible switch, shift in the weight into your left leg. Release the right, turn out, and place your foot down at your ankle, at your calf, or up at your thigh, above or below the knee. Now try not to let the hip swing way out to the side. Try and keep it tucked up and under. Feeling all those micro adjustments the body makes. Maybe you need to step out and back in again. And then inhale and open up the canopy of your glorious tree. How many of you have been completely enthralled by the autumn colors this year? I don't know about where you are, but here it's been spectacular. So shine like the ginkgos, bright gold and yellow, and then come back through heart center and pause. A moment of heart-centered gratitude for the beauty around us. Find your mountain once again, the hill dotted with all of those spectacular colors. And then right leg roots, left finds its perch above or below the knee. Make sure to hug that hip up and in so you're very stable. Eyes on your focal point. And then find your canopy. Maybe this one's bright red or gold or rust. What is your favorite? Lift your heart, reach through the crown, reach through your fingertips. Draw your belly in, draw your hip in. One more big breath. And then come back through center, walk it out and then come to stillness. Maybe your eyes close. Coming back to the sensation of the mountain, feeling of deep stability. And when you're ready, blinking your eyes open, we'll move into flying crane. As you inhale, have your arms come up to make your wings and lift one leg. Place the leg down, back to center on the exhale. Inhale, lift, other side. Exhale, back to center. And now let's fly. So we'll move just a little bit faster so that we get that sensation of flying. Make sure you inhale as your wings lift lifting on the breath and the next time that you're lifting stay stay like birds when they're in that you know suspended animation back to center inhale to the other side find that moment of stillness and back to center release step your feet out a little bit wider and Shake that off. And let it go. Step out a little bit wider. And then turn your right toes out. Not really your toes. That's a misnomer. Turn your entire leg so the toes follow out towards the side of the room. With your other leg, turn it in a little bit, lifting your heel so that the foot is kind of at a angle this way. Try to open your hips to the side. That's the work in this pose. Inhale and raise your arms to shoulder height, fingertips reaching, palms down. Turn your head to look over your right fingertips, inhale here, 
and then exhale, bend your right knee just until it's over the ankle, coming into warrior two. Stay for a breath. And now we're going to move in and out. As you inhale, lift your arms up, bring them together, straighten your leg, look forward, look this way towards me. Exhale and drop into warrior two. Inhale up and exhale down. Two more. Last one. And release your arms down, straighten your leg, and turn all your toes to face forward. Bring your hands to the back of your hips. And inhale, lift your heart. Take a big breath. Exhale, come back, standing up over your feet. And we'll move to the other side. So turning out from the hip, left leg points to the side, right leg turns in on an angle, hips open. Inhale, the arms up, reach through the fingertips, look out over left, inhale here, and then exhale and bend into your warrior two. With each exhale, sink a little bit lower, reach a little bit stronger. And we'll move, inhale, straighten the leg, arms come up through center. Exhale, drop into warrior two. Inhale, lift and straighten. Exhale, reach. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. Release your arms. Straighten your leg. Turn your toes to face forward. And let's just circle the hips a little bit. And the other way. And then slowly walk your feet back in to center. One more standing pose. So step out just a little bit. We're going to do some side bends. So inhale, arms come up. Now, if it's comfortable, bring your palms together, interlace your fingers, and release your index finger, reaching up tall. If that doesn't work, then just keep your arms wherever they're comfortable. Inhale and get tall, regardless. Exhale, press your left hip away and come up and over to the right. If you need additional support, lower your hand to your hip. Stay for a breath and the full exhale. Inhale, come up through center and exhale to the other side. Again, taking that support as you need it. Inhale through center. Continue moving side to side. I see I have a message in the chat. So I'm going to take a look as you do your side bends. Oh, good. Okay. Excellent. Take your time. Working to both sides. And when you're finished, come up through center. Exhale, hands to heart center and carefully walk your feet back in. Release your arms and shake them out. And let's make our way down to sitting. So take your time. And for our next sequence, you may want to sit on the edge of a blanket, on a bolster, a pillow. You decide what is going to serve you best. It's good to have all of your options available so that you have what you need. So bring your soles of feet together and your knees wide apart. Let me scooch back. I never quite figure where you can see me. Okay, that's it. And just rock a little bit from side to side. Working with releasing the effort of the vigorous practice. 
come back through center, holding on at your knees, shins, or ankles. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, soften and drop your knees. Inhale, up tall, lift the heart. Exhale, soften and release. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, soften. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, soften. Bring your hands under your knees and help your legs out to a wide seat. Now for this, I like to come off of my blanket, but I have it kind of tucked behind me for a little bit more support. Take a moment here to flex your feet, pressing out through your heels, knees and toes pointing up towards the ceiling. And rest your hands behind you for support or in front of you, whatever feels best. We're going to do just a little bit of pointing and flexing. So point through your left foot and then flex that foot as you point through your right foot. So we'll just switch and switch, switch and switch. A couple more. Beautiful. Now, let's see, can we circle the ankles? Up, out, and around, and the other way. Now, if it's comfortable, can you add your arms? Reaching out, let's circle wrists and ankles. And switch. Shake out your hands, relax through your legs. And let's bend the left leg, bringing the sole of the foot towards the inner left, I mean, right thigh. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, lower your left hand and come up and over with the right, reaching away from the extended right leg. Inhale up through center, bring your hand to the inside of your knee, the other arm, it's gonna come up and over, maybe bending your elbow. It's a side bend over your leg. And the, uh, the intention of the pose is that someday or in a different lifetime, you may be able to grab your toes and then open your heart towards the ceiling. I've been doing yoga pretty much my whole life. Can't do it. Let's move. Inhale up, exhale, reach. Inhale up and exhale over. One more in each direction. Inhale up through center, hands behind you to switch legs. Try your luck on this side. Inhale up, exhale, reach away from your extended leg. Long stretch. Inhale through center. How is the side bend on this side? Nope, still can't reach my toes. So maybe it feels better to bring your hand behind your head and reach with your elbow. Still keep thinking about opening your heart towards the ceiling or the opposite wall. And now we'll go side to side. Inhaling through the center and exhaling into the side bend. And next time you inhale, come up through center, bring your legs in a little bit closer and gently bounce through the knees and rock in and out. Now I'm going to take us into a brief seated meditation. And after that, we can move into our positions for Shavasana or resting pose. So take a moment to find a comfortable position, sitting up, maybe in a chair, maybe on a cushion, on your couch, whatever feels good. Take a moment to get grounded, feeling your connection with the earth, feeling your head, neck, 
spine reaching tall, elongating as you inhale and grounding as you exhale. Allow your eyes to close if you like. Rest your palms on your thighs or if there's something in front of you or armrests. Inhale, reach towards the sky. Exhale, soften and connect to the earth. Just a couple more breaths like this. I'm going to share this meditation that I got from my friend, Rabbi Joshua Lesser. Begin to imagine that you can feel the warmth of the sun on the top of your head. It feels like this gentle, warm, golden light. Feel that warmth right at the top of your head. And then begin to imagine that it spreads and drops down over your forehead, your face, the warmth of the sun lighting up your face the muscles of your jaw and the back of your head down the back of your neck, the sides of your head over your ears, down all the way around your neck, this golden warm light spreading out across your shoulders and down your arms all the way to the fingertips, down the front of your body, down the back of your body, down the sides of your body, to your hips, your low belly. Warmth, golden light, down the length of each leg, all the way to your fingertips. Feel completely engulfed in warmth and golden light. Now bring to mind a person for whom you feel grateful. See them in front of you, their face, their smile perhaps. Tell them that you are grateful for them. Maybe tell them why. Take a moment to notice the sensation of gratitude, that mindfulness of gratitude, and where in the body you feel it. Softly breathe into that space, allowing it to expand and grow. When you're ready, choose another person for whom you are grateful and see them in front of you. Tell them you're grateful. Tell them why. And again, notice the sensation of that gratitude. Expanding and growing. Take the next several breaths to sit with your sensation of gratitude, maybe bringing more folks forward to share. Maybe sitting with what you feel. Stay with the practice, the warm golden light of gratitude until you're ready to make your way into a comfortable position for Shavasana Rest Pose. Take your time.
we begin our day alone, honoring this life with all its potentials and possibilities. We begin our day with trust, knowing we are created for loving encounters. We begin our day with hope, knowing the day can hold love, kindness, forgiveness, and justice. We recall our day yesterday. May we learn, may we love, may we live on. We make room for the unexpected. May we find wisdom and life in the unexpected. We embrace possibility, respond graciously to disappointment, and hold tenderly those we encounter. May we be fully present to the day. We hold space for all whose day will be difficult. May we support, may we listen, may we change. We resolve to live life in its fullness. We will welcome the people who will be part of this day. We will greet the sacred and the ordinary and hidden moments. We will live the life we are living. May we find the wisdom we need. May we hear the needs of those we meet. May we love the life we are given. Begin to deepen your breath bringing small movements into fingers and toes. When you feel ready, if you're lying down, roll to one side and pause. And then press into your fingertips to come up to sitting, allowing your attention to stay deeply inward for another moment or two. We'll seal our practice with one chant of Om for the community that we create when we practice together. If you'd like to join, bringing, <coughs> pardon me, bringing hands together at Heart Center, we'll inhale. Shanti, peace, peace, peace. Jai Bhagwan. May the light in you be victorious. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me and with each other.